Hello community, here we are, Stable Diffusion with Hugging Face Diffusers. It is so easy. We use the Stable Diffusion pipeline from Hugging Face, so we just check that we have a Tesla T4. This is great. What we see now, we install our diffusers, we install our transformers. This is done. We are up and running, up and running. Yes, yes, everything is here. Google Colab up to date now is this great so let's see we connect now uh, we have to get our widget manager and then we connect to the hugging face hub let's see if this is it what we need if my token is still valid if not i will have to create a new token for my hugging face account no it is not value so hold on a sec hold on a sec where am I? Here, I have a new token. Demo, stable. And then I want to have a token, right? I generate my token on the Hugging Face page. I copy the token and I execute this again. You can do it on your Hugging Face account, no problem at all, free of charge. Oops, here we go. This is my login token should work now successful your token has been saved this is great and now we load the stable diffusion pipeline here we go we take from pre-trained stable diffusion 1.4 here we go and then when it's loaded we put everything on our CUDA cores on our GPU remember we have a Tesla T4 on our free Colab notebook and then, and then, and then, and then, and then we have to insert something nice. And I just played around a little bit before recording this. And I have to say, it is so nice if you see something from nature. So I say, a garden full of flowers and a small creek illuminated by the sunset. This is, hey, we are ready, here we go. So this is our text prompt. And I can save my image here to my garden PNG. Or if we're here on Google, we just have a look at the image. This is great. Oh, nice. This is our garden illuminated sunset, a little creek. Beautiful. Now, if you want to have reproducible uh, thing, you have just to specify a manual seed. I have just chosen an integer number of 117. You can do whatever you like. If you want to increase the performance, you just add the command, the number of inference steps. I set it to 150. Default, I think, is about 50 or 40 to 50. It takes a little bit longer to calculate if you uh, put it up to 150. But let's see if the quality of our picture increases. And we have set it then to a specific starting condition. So we should be done right now. Beautiful. This is it with 117. So if we do exactly the same, but just say, uh, wait, 117, the number of inference staff we reduce now significantly to just 15 instead of 150, you will see it's rather fast to generate this picture. And if you compare it, I think it's, we can, no, it is only 512 and 512 pixels. I think it's not so bad. Just took a fraction of the amount of time. Now, if you want to display a grid of images, no problem. There's a function defined for you. You define an image grid functionality. And then you say here on the prompt, Let's go with this garden full of flowers. And you say the number of images. Let's go. Let's be crazy with three. So we have one row and two columns. Whoops. One row and two columns. Why well, we have two columns? We need three columns. My goodness. My brain, I can tell you. So I suppose we have to run this again with three columns. One times three grid. And then I show you the two, the three times three grid. So... It is nice. Look at this. This is so beautiful. We have now from our text prompt a garden full of flowers and a small creek illuminated by the sunset. We have this here now. And let me just show you. Yes, now the three times three takes a little bit longer, of course. But this is so beautiful. And while this is calculating, let me show you if you are doing this and you want to generate some non-square images, so 512 times 512 is default, 
You can go higher if you have a multiple of eight. But they have a recommendation that if you go over 512 in both directions, you, you have a problem because your global coherence of the picture of the content is lost. So therefore they recommend create a non-square images that uses 512 in one dimension, either x or y, and another value that is larger than this one. This is beautiful, but take care, it's a multiple of eight. So what I'm gonna do here is I have here my 512, my recommended height, and then with the width I go with 1600 pixels. We can start this already. So we will see, we have here a nice panorama picture with a width of 1,600 pixels, you can increase the computation time, you can increase temperature, whatever. There are a lot of parameters you can play around. But this video here is just a demonstration that I show you in real time how long it takes to generate beautiful pictures. We are here executing this command now one, oops, one minute and 26 seconds. And I think we should be done three times three, one, two, three. So in about five to 10 seconds, instead of one times three matrix, we should have a three times three matrix of all those beautiful pictures generated. And here we are. My goodness, this is so nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, not bad for one minute and I don't know, 30 seconds, you got nine beautiful pictures. The nice thing is you can just say save image as if you click with your right mouse and you can save it locally directly here from the display to your local drive or you just say save as i don't know png or gpack or whatever you like so here we calculated some beautiful pictures oh, yeah and i wanted to show you here the prompt garden full of flowers a small creek illuminated by the sunset if we have now a width of 1600, as you can see, it takes a little bit longer to turn out just a single picture, but we have a panorama picture. So let's just wait till we finish. Come on, come on. Yes, 100%. Hey, and here we are. Can we zoom in? Yeah, we can zoom in. So this is it, a little bit up. Yeah, so now you can see this is the way you can generate some panoramic picture. Now, isn't this beautiful? And as I told you, you just save it with a save command, image.save command, or you just say save image as. It is so nice. So this was an introduction that you can run on Hugging Face Stable Diffusion with Hugging Face Diffuser. It is so beautiful. Give it a try. Enjoy it. And I see you in the next video.